Okay. Endgame still got me there. Watched it last night, something about three hours. Didn't go to drain, thankfully. The Infinity War and Endgame wasn't seem to doesn't seem to be don't seem to be a perfect perfect movies or something, but the way they capture the feelings to make the audience feel more emotional, I think they managed to really catch it so well. And me, since I did watch it from the first movie, The Iron Man, oh, that's such a gold, by the way. Yeah, I'm just gonna stop right there. Alright, we're gonna talk a bit about yesterday. Yesterday we had... Uh, oh god, I forgot. Crap. Mm. Oh wait. Oh yeah, that was the only mission with the swarm. There was actually a survey that I didn't check. I got the ship scan though. So I was kind of prone to save that Fairling airlock at uh, 6.50. And thankfully I was like uh, at, the, at, at the exact time to find the bottom left swarm. So I could get the access to the generator room pronto and save the Fairling airlock. And yeah, of course I took the longest because I didn't realize of the survey. So it kind of made it a little bit uh, harder for me to manage that mission overall. And that's the score you can see by yourself. Congrats, LB, for finishing it in less than 10 minutes. Ooh, wow. Alright, so we got no slash ship upgrade. We got stealth with 20 points below maximum turn HP in total. Still kind of discussing a bit about uh, MCU with a friend, but I told her that it's for the channel. So um, I told her that I'm going. I'm going to play this challenge box. So actually, they don't just. Yeah. But I reckon this mission will be pretty fast. Oh, hello.
Oh no, not yet. Okay. second going on there but hey less than five minutes baby less than five minutes all oh, right wrong button wrong button where is it where is it, where is it? Oh, yeah, this one 